Welcome to the Fort Worth Central City Bypass Channel Sewer Main Relocations Part 14 Community Construction Meeting. Your project manager is Liam Conlon, and I am going to pass the baton to Liam. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we have a, a small agenda here, like the introductions, a project overview, project area, and a frequently asked questions and the timeline project. Uh, like Sandy says, your team includes uh, Liam Condon, project manager, phone number 817-392-6824, and his email address is liam.condlon, C-O-N-L-O-N, at Fort Worth, Texas, which is all one word, dot gov. And our inspector is uh, Stephen Martinez, and his phone number is 682-432. Five four eight five, and his email address is Stephen dot Martinez M A R T I N E Z at Fort Worth Texas on one word again dot gov. And our contractor is S J Lewis Construction. Their representatives are Adam Lunsford and Ronald Etter. And our engineering design consultant team is Kimberly Horn. And their representative is Car Dizzy. Uh, what part of Fort Worth does this project impact? This project is in the Fort Worth Council Districts 9 and 2. And construction will also impact the Inner District 2 Alliance. What are the boundaries of the city project? This city relocation project is bound by Oakwood Cemetery to the north, Samuels Avenue to the east, Culvert Street and the Fort Worth Police Department Criminal Investigation and Records Division facility to the south and North Henderson Street, Jacksboro Highway slash 199, whatever you want to call it, to the west. What is the Central City Bypass Channel? Purpose of the Panther Island Central City Flood Project is to provide Fort Worth with bypass flood protection. The Central City Bypass Project is limited to the removal of infrastructure needed for this protection. Water and sewer relocations are needed for this north bypass that is approximately 3,900 feet of the overall 8,400 feet of the bypass channel. The flood protection project has been constructed by the United States Army Corps of Engineers in partnership with the Tarn Regional Water District, the City of Fort Worth, and Tarn County. Where is the Central City Project located? The Central City Project is located within the vicinity of downtown. It's actually just north of downtown area of Fort Worth, along the West Fork and Clear Fork of the Trinity River. It consists of a bypass channel, levee system, associated improvements to divert flood flows around a segment of the existing floodway system. What drives the city project? Existing water and sanitary sewer mains must be relocated and abandoned to accommodate the proposed Fort Worth Central City bypass channel near downtown Fort Worth. The future bypass channel is the United States Army Corps of Engineers project for flood protection. You can actually see, get more information by logging into Panther Island CC, which is all one word, dot com forward slash central dash city dash PHP, and you'll get from more information. <clears throat> what role does each partner play? The City of Fort Worth is responsible for utility improvements and relocations, very much sanitary sewer, water, and storm drainage, and local street modifications. The two departments basically involved are the Fort Worth Water Department and Transportation and Public Works. The United States Army Corps of Engineers is responsible for 10 flood water storage mitigation areas, a bypass channel, three isolation gates, a dam, and a pump station. Our regional water district, land acquisition, relocation, demolition, environmental cleanup, and water quality. 
and the Texas Department of Transportation, which is known as TxDOT, and three four lane bridges over the bypass channel on Maine, Anderson, and White Settlement. Where will existing sewer mains be relocated? The existing sewer lines will be relocated to North Jacksboro Highway, North Henderson Street slash Jacksboro Highway. The relocation starts north and east of the Trinity River and south of Oakwood Cemetery. What is included for sewer in Council District 2? The existing sewer line in Council District 2 include sewer mains on the north and south side of the West Fork of the Trinity River between North Henderson Street and the Fort Worth and Western Railroad. What is included for sewer in Council District 9? Existing sewer lines that would be abandoned include sewer main on the west side of the West Fork of the Trinity Levee from the Bazaar at 1000 North Henderson Street to the Fort Worth Police Department Criminal Investigations and Records Division at 1000 Calvert Street. Sewer line west of Calvert Street within the police facility. What is included for sewer in Council District 9? The sewer main relocation will run northeasterly along North Henderson, southerly to Calvert Street, then northeasterly to just north of the Fort Worth Police Department complex. The Charles Hedge Oz Athletic Center is just southeast of the sewer main relocations. Will you need access to your property? Construction will begin to streets and easement. If for work needs access to your property, we will contact you. Will sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. The sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. Will I have access to my driveway during construction? The inspector and the contractor will work with businesses and residents who need driveway access during active construction hours. How are you going to coordinate traffic during construction? We will have a traffic control plan in place before the contractor starts work. Will there be lane closures during construction? Yes, but signs will be posted to alert smokers. What are the construction hours? The hours of construction are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday. And if requested by the contractor, 9 a.m. to 4, maybe 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Timeline. Construction activities are scheduled to start on September 11, 2023. The contractor will start at North Henderson Street, Jacksboro Highway between the Henderson Street Flea Market and Calvert Street. Current schedule shows construction will be wrapped up by late fall or early winter of 2024. Where can I get more information? You can go to www.forwardtexas, which again is all one word, .gov, and type in the project number 104 484 in the search bar on the home page. Fort Worth Central City Bypass Channel, Sewer Main Relocations, Part 14 will pop up. To get project page updates, scroll down to the bottom of the project page and click on subscribe to this page. The link to a PDF of this PowerPoint and a link to the YouTube video of this presentation will be posted to this project page. How do I report an emergency or non-emergencies? Emergencies, we have water main breaks, sewer backups, 24 hours a day. Number is 817-392-4477, and you select option one. The water call center, which were non-emergencies, generally speaking, the 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, same number, 817-392. 4477, but they're closed on city holidays. Or you can download the My Forward app, which is My FW app from the App Store or Google Play. 
You can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter leads, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. Again, your project team includes project manager Liam Conlon, uh, phone number 817-392-6824, and it's liam.conlon at forward Texas, again, all one word.gov. Inspector is Stephen Martinez, number is 682-432-5485, and stephen.martinez at forwardtexas.gov. Now your contractor is SJ Lewis Construction and Adam Lansford and Ronald Etter are their representatives. Engineering design consultant is Kimberly Horn and their representative is Carl Dizzy. Thank you. Have a nice evening.